What is going on everybody? Today we're going to take a look at Chavez's Ultramar pen. One of the main reasons why I wanted to check out this pen is because it is made by Riot. And as many of us know, many of you may know, that Riot makes a lot of very good high quality knives in China. They do an excellent job with fit and finish and just overall just really good quality knives. So I'm really kind of wanted to check out this pen personally to see exactly how Riot took Chavez's design for a pen and really brought it all together with their fit and finish and be able to compare it down the road to other very nice American made pens and some of them Chinese pens too. Um, obviously, you know, there's a, a bunch of different variations out there. So I definitely like to be able to take a look at all the different variations of fit and finish and productivity of a lot of these EDC pens. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Pretty much typical packaging for Chavez. Not, I've never really dug into a lot of his stuff. He's got a very unique design aesthetic and some people like it, some people don't. So, there we go. So there's the typical Chavez skull clip, which he also does on his knives. Some people like it, some people don't. I don't really care for it on his knife, but here on the pen, eh, you know, it's not quite so bad. It's very unique. Let's put it that way. And it's got some pretty good retention and is very deep carry, so that is pretty cool too. And we have the very bolt action. That's very, very smooth. Could maybe use to be just a smidge, just a little bit stiffer, but I don't, there, there, some pen companies really go overboard with their stiffness. They really do as far as, it just really, it's really one of my biggest pet peeves. It just needs to be fidgety and just needs to be, have a little snap to it. So, let's take it, okay, so it's, oh, all right. So that's what I was kind of also curious about is how they did holes all the way through but yet kind of made it look solid looking. And that's how they did it, was with a whole inset shaft here. Oh, oops. Okay, so that comes, see, that comes apart too. So you could actually, maybe, let's see, let's check it out here. No. Yeah, no, you can't, you can't go without it. I'm assuming that's probably, yeah, I don't know, because there's no threads in here, so there's no way to do it. So that's, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. So, I don't know. pay attention to which way it was supposed to go there, but anyhow. Oh, and we have a Schmidt Easy Flow 9000 medium. So, not a bad cartridge, so. A bolt mechanism there, so yeah, very interesting. It just goes back, screws right back together, just like that, and you're right back to order. So, yeah, not too bad. So, let's just throw a quick measurement out there. So, yeah, about four and three quarters inches long, and about a half inch, which is pretty typical for an EDC nine EDC pen, is about a half inch thick. So very, very cool. Very interesting. Pocket clip comes off with a screw right there. Yeah, I guess that whole cap is a yeah, the whole cap is a unscrews and the pocket clip kind of sits in there. So very interesting. Feels pretty good. Machining up here does offer some traction without being too aggressive and not and not being it's machined enough to where you can feel the traction. It's but not too bad. It's nice, very nice. 
All right, guys, that is the unboxing of the Chavez Ultramar EDC pen. We will catch you next time, guys. Have a great day.